I wonder if you could mount a winch right there. Probably could up here. So here I am again looking at SUVs. I haven't found one yet looking on Auto Trader as you see. But I have a few marked as my favorites, and that's 23 of them. But I don't know. What do y'all think? Yukon, Suburban, Expedition, uh, Navigator, Escalade. Uh, there's a Tahoe. Another Suburban. Kind of looks like that's my favorite ones. I don't know why that one's on there. That is not big enough. So, just unheart that one. And these are all four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. And the reason being plan on spending some time on the forest roads up in northern New Mexico and possibly Colorado, places such as that. And four-wheel drive is just a little bit of added safety, security, when you're out there in the middle of nowhere and nobody's around. I'd like to uh, be able to put a winch on the front, though. So y'all want to check a couple of these out. We'll just start right there. It's a 2004 GMC Yukon Denali. Looks like there's a little scuff right there. But don't y'all like that grill? I, I don't know. It looks kind of cool to me. Well, this, these steps is one of the things that I'm a little concerned about. From the ground clearance, you know, you go for something, well, I will tear that up. I don't know. Well, there's a little war on the seat. You can tell that. I mean, all of these have got little things about them. I don't know. That might be the design in that leather. The driver's seat is usually the worst of all. But see, I think there'd be plenty of room because I want to be able to put a air mattress back here. And, you know, maybe a shelf or two. I don't know. I don't know what kind of storage this is. I haven't seen one in person. I guess that was all the pictures on that. Well, that's pretty clean looking. Oh, wait a minute. Well, you can pretty much see 241,000 miles, which I know that's a lot of miles, but most all these vehicles that I'm seeing that's in my price range have that high mileage. I think that's just going to be one of the things I'm just going to have to deal with. I like the big grill on this one, the big push bar. You know what model was this one? 2004. It's got a different grill, doesn't it? Wait a minute. I wonder if that's... Wait. Hold on. Yukon Denali, 2004, and this is a 2004, but this one's not the Denali. Well, what I'm looking at is that grill. It's a different grill, isn't it? Or is it? I can't afford to tell. Either way, it's still a pretty tight looking truck. And I'd like to get a uh, roof rack. 
or not roof rack, but a storage box to put on the roof. See, a lot of the vehicles I've been looking at are tore right in there. And that's because, you know, you get in and you scooch across. I, I, I totally get it. You know exactly what it's from. And that's just the way it is with leather. Yeah, even some cloth ones I've looked at has been like that. I don't have many pictures on this one, though. Let's just draw back to it. 293. That, that's knocking on the door at 300,000. In the Suburban. 2002 Chevy Suburban LT. 3450. And a lot of the Suburbans I've looked at open up to the sides. I really like the ones that open up, you know, to the top, have the lift gate. And the reason why I think I like that is uh, if it's raining or something. And you've got a makeshift kitchen sitting on the back end of your vehicle. You can still cook and not be standing in the rain. Now, I don't, I don't, I don't recall, but I don't think that expedition I had uh, when it was raining. I don't think water came in up here. I think it hit that. There's a little gutter thing inside there, and I think it hit and rolled down the sides. If I remember right, of course, it depends on how hard it's raining and if the wind's blowing. I think that expedition I had was a 04. People really need to work on their photo skills and where the sun's at, unless they're doing that on purpose. And if that's the case, they did a really good job. A little bit boring, but. Hey, y'all are in it with me. And you will be if you subscribe to the channel and watch the videos. Because whatever I get, it will be in the videos. Well, I put about a bottle of armor on that tire. See, I like that. That's just classy looking to me. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these are lights. Same roof. I like that. And see, this is kind of like the expedition with the gear shifter right there. Gear selector, whatever you want to call it. Classy. 3200. Easier to see like that, isn't it? Got the sun there. Let me see right here. Look, even the Cadillac is tore. This is broke off right here. You can see that? Guess it was all the pictures. Well, they're definitely not trying to hide it, though. That's on the positive for them. Matter of fact, that's uh, pretty much all the pictures they have, so. Uh, that one and that one. Was there something on this that we missed? Uh, does that look like this broke to y'all? Something's hanging, isn't it? Yep, it's broke. What a shame. I wonder. I don't know. Tell me what that would cost to replace that. I don't know if you could repair it or not. My guess is that's probably the only thing that's wrong with it. Because why else would they just put those two pictures on there and just show them the bad? Anyway. We will keep looking.
that covers uh, Suburban, the Denali, the regular Yukon, Expeditions. That's cool though. You, I wonder if you could mount a winch right there. Probably could up here. Take a break and we'll be back in a little bit on the next video. How's that? Y'all keep on keeping on and we'll see you down the road. Bye.